Good day, hello. Hi there. We're here to talk about uh, hybrids today, specifically in a minute, a bit of detail about the dual sport, but really about what the role of a hybrid is in cycling, who should ride one and why. So first off, I'll just describe this bike a little bit, yep. just so we don't go into, uh, get ourselves lost. Aluminium frame, tough, rugged tire, a little bit of suspension and a broad range of gears. It's got a flat handlebar. Its origins really was in the repurposing of mountain bikes back yeah. in the 80s and the 90s. That's where they came from. Uh, tough bikes for city environments really, isn't it? Yeah, um, I think there, is, there, are multi, there are many different types of hybrid, but this one is kind of more geared towards the, as Adrian said, the, the sort of the tougher environment. So whether that includes riding down the canals, through the parks, or even just commuting and riding on you know rougher road surfaces really yeah they're a fun bike they're quite dynamic yeah uh, the suspension makes them able to just keep going whatever the terrain really it's not a full mountain bike though this isn't for going to the woods in yeah or it's not for riding trail centers but you can ride the fire tracks in the woods and yeah. so on can't you people do all sorts with these sorts of bikes i mean they use them for commuting they use them for leisure and fitness they do Absolutely. yeah yeah i mean go on holiday on them but equally you know in in the new fashion for gravel riding why wouldn't you ride something like this yeah and with the with the dual sport range you know being all of them being equipped with hydraulic disc brakes and as adrian said suspension and, and chunkier tires it means that whether you're doing it for fitness or leisure or you know just getting out with the family they kind of cover it all really so if someone was looking for one style or one one bike that was going to do a little bit of everything then you really can't go far wrong with the dual sport. It's interesting actually, because obviously the name gives it away. It's called the dual yeah. sport. It means that it's good on the street and it's good off the street. You can ride it on the grass, on the gravel, you can ride it on broken surfaces, but uh, they're, they're, they're versatile beyond just the design of the frame really, because they have all the fixtures and the fittings on them to put racks, mud guards, kickstand, kickstand, etc. You can you've got the blender fit facility here on the on the front of the bike to, as well. Yeah, to fit a cycle computer and lights, and also um, a, an area in the rear the rear of the bike here where you can attach a speed and cadence sensor for more accurate measurement of your kind of statistics when you're riding. Often suited to, for people that are looking to you know get a bit fitter and track their usage on the bike a bit more. The um, when I think about the people that buy these bikes and ride them ultimately and ride them, is that they are people that are looking for a general purpose bike probably uh, not going to have three or four bikes this is yeah. for somebody who just wants a do it all can go here can go there you can do big rides you can ride long yeah, distance absolutely. on it but equally just knock around on it it's tough enough to take the urban environment but uh, they're also super stylish as well and i like the functional look of them yeah this no, one's a beauty in matte black paint a little bit of red detailing big discs on it chunky tires suspension Looks like a really good bike, doesn't it? It does. Um, we've got them. We've got them in stock at the moment. Um, so come and come and see us, or give us a call if you like to know any like to know any more details. We're always open and always available for test rides as well. Yeah, and I think that next time uh, we come to the video show, we're going to do a little bit about the FX. Yes. And the Trek FX is a different sort of hybrid, isn't it? It's a street, yeah. more of a street hybrid. But uh, that's a, one for another time. But yeah, the Dual Sport is an absolute beauty. One to be. Uh, written and enjoyed.